Hello, my name is Mr. Pinesworth, and I'm a tree fanatic. Why do we love trees? In this mockumentary, we will find out why trees are the best plants on the earth. Why are trees one of the number one plants? What is on the inside of this hard brown shell? What makes up the green leaves? We will find out soon enough. And right here, we have a twig. As you can see, it's very bent, but this used to be one of these large, large limbs. It's very intricate. As you can see, there is a small part of where the energy would come from and suck in all the dirty carbon dioxide and fart it out into a nice uh, pure oxygen. Here we have one of nature's greatest creations, the sea. It's very, very uh, slightly big, medium sized. It falls off of the trees and plants other different types of trees. It may be an apple tree, a snake tree, a car tree, a football tree, it doesn't matter. The thing is, it's a seed and it'll create more. What makes up the hard bark? It's hard and it's bark. It's also made out of wood. It's pretty good for fires. That's why a man decides to cut a lot of these things down to keep warm in the winter. What is it made out of? What are its material properties? Well, it's made up of a substance called ethereum. Ethereum is a small little tiny microbe that slowly grows, kind of like skin. And as you see, it kind of grows and grows and grows like a thick crystal. See, to be actually true, this is actually a crystal. Bark is crystals. They're actually not quite volley valuable, but in some countries where there's a desert, they're quite valuable. And there's the... Oh. As you can see, this is the flame of the tree. It comes down long. It's quite a lot like mucus. It's quite tasty, actually. This is good. It gives a lot of protein and nutrients in it. It's very good. As you see right here, this is the hole and center of the tree. It's quite nice, actually, because it can create such things as charcoal. And, and dirt. See, dirt is actually the secretion from trees. We are literally, the planet Earth is standing on a secretion of thousands and thousands of layers of tree poop. This is one of the areas where it juts out like a giant jet. Right now it's dormant because of the winter, but as you can see, there's large of little bit of dirt in here, as you can see. And after some time, the area gets worn enough where it completely destroys itself. The entire tree secretes everything that's inside of its body and turns into dirt. I can see right here, this is the tree's mortal enemy, the vine. The vine is very hard to get off of the tree, and once it gets on, the tree is doomed. As you can see, it slowly sucks the dirt from the inside and creates a something called Christoma. Crystallum is used in the forbearance of making lead, and lead creates trees. It's a giant cycle if you don't think about it. You know, a giant cycle. You get, you get the vines, which turn into lead, and then into trees. And then the trees get sucked from the, from, from the vine, and then back into the lead, and then into the tree, and then the dirt. The most important part about this is to realize there are leaves. And as you can see, this tree does not have leaves. Do you wonder why? Because this is literally sucking the tree life of the leaves. It is taking the leaves and putting it into the vines. Vines are the natural enemy of trees. And without vines and trees, we would not be in existence today. As you can see right here, this is one of the ancestors of the tree. It's called a bush, and a bush is a smaller version of a tree. Now this one in particular looks very spiky and pointy, and quite dangerous. But to be honest, it's actually quite fluffy. It's more or less a defense system against the vines. And as you can see, there are little berries. These are actually cherry bombs. See, the army just developed them so they were slightly bigger. And as you can see from here, these spiky little things are actually quite fluffy. As you can see, not at all harmless. You know, just, just perfect. It's quite comfy. I would actually want a chair out of this. There's many more different types of bushes, which are small versions of trees. And now, our leading scientist, Mr. Ogolstein, will be talking to us about leaves. Mr. Ogolstein, please come over here and talk about leaves. Ah, uh, yes. These are the leaves of magnolia tree. They're growing in our 
backyard. Um... Thank you, Mr. Oglestein. That wasn't that brilliant. He talked so much about leaves, I could not fill my entire head about how much information he talked about leaves. I wasn't finished. Right here, we have the mini bush. And over here, we have the mini mini bush. And over here, we have the mini 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 bush. They're all bushes. There's nothing different about them. They're just slightly smaller than the last. It's actually quite interesting. And what is this? It's a bag growing on a tree. You might be thinking, that's absurd. Well, it's not, because it's a bag growing on a tree. It's a bag plant. The tree produces fritos. Frito. It's a frito tree. And you can see they're nice and moist. Very full of thicken. It's delicious. As you can see here, this plant is dying. So what does it need? It needs its main nutrients, which is water. They need water. And so today, we're gonna we're gonna water this plant. As you can see, it's not completely watered yet. So we're gonna keep on doing this. Almost there. And that's how you water a plant. <laughs> this is Betty Boy. She's just like, what? What the hell is going on? I don't understand. I don't know why. Right, they so don't pay me enough. Like, I'm yeah. poor, you know? Hey, I live you, with my mom. Over there? Get back to work. Uh, this is expensive equipment. Okay. I paid five bucks for this thing. Okay. And as you can see, one of the biggest part about our wildlife and trees is grass. It's all around us. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. It's even in my butt. Now, don't get confused with grass with ass because they're two separate things. You should definitely not confuse those. Definitely not confuse those. Yes, don't. Because you might ask for grass when you really want ass, and it's all confusing. Anyways, grass is micro, 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 micro trees. And there's thousands of them. They secrete so much um, dirt on a daily basis, it's insane. It's possibly one of the reasons why we're covered in dirt. I'm covered in dirt, you're covered in dirt. Every day you go outside, you're filthy. It's despicable. Now, also right here, we have the remnants of a tree. And if you notice, there's a deep hole down here where you can stick your hand in and sometimes find dead leaves. In other words, you can also find grass and diamonds and something. I don't know. Grass. We can't live without it, and I'm sure you can't either. Got it. And that is our uh, documentary all about trees. The leaves, the, the grass, ground, the earth, the poop, everything that is around you. All created by trees, by bark, by leaves, by seeds, by vines, by lead in the rocks, the trees, and the cars, and the trees, and forks, by <laughs> Ethereum. It doesn't matter because it's all, all part of the planet, our beautiful planet that we always love and always will with the grass and the trees and the mailboxes and the cameramen and me and the crazy people who always think they're kind of like a CEO of business. You got trees, you got rocks, you got grass, you got trees. The best part is, is that it's our world and nothing can ever stop us from making the world what we want. We can make it. Whatever we want. We want this tree right here. Boom. You got a tree right there. You want a grass over there? You got grass. It's good. That's it. It's good. That's the point. So thank you for watching our documentary. I hope you uh, check out some of our other productions. Like, why rocks are solid. And also, what makes cars go. Also, why do apples taste so damn tasty? Thank you for joining me on this documentary. And I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Sir Oglestein, CEO of Cats. This man still doesn't have a PhD. Why the hell are you on my set? Get off my set! Why are you here? I didn't contract you. I'm, I'm the CEO of Cats, of course. Really? Let me see your papers. I'm not really a tree specialist. I just thought this was funny.